Ready and racing. Addicted's came out fairly well with Go Russell Go and uh, Sedgebrook Glory's accelerated across the, the across the face of the field to lead. Favourites in big, big trouble here. It's back with Juno Baxter towards the rear. Sedgebrook Glory, the leader, another drink comes underneath it. What I like starts after them. Then we've got one air poised and driving home late. Addicted the favourite, but away goes another drink and scores well from Sedgebrook Glory. Addicted, I think, may have got third from what I like. That's a photo. It's a big run. The favourite, but beaten nonetheless. Eddie's mate next over, followed back in the field then by uh, Juno Baxter. Well back would have been uh, one ear poised and go Russell go. Set to go in race number two there. Racing. Springstown a shade slow. She's a what what's out well, but so is Joyville, and they match motors early. They'll be followed uh, through by another stone. Around the outside there at a good gallop there would have been Ho Ho Ho. And they'll be followed back and behind these runners by Springstown trying to get through. She's a what what's been well shuffled. Morgan Baxter's well back with Luke Tastic and intent zoom. Joyville gallops away to score. From another stone, Springstown third. Big gap back the others. Narrowly fourth, I'd say, was Morgan Baxter, which would make it a one, two, three, four for John McInerney. Then intense zoom. Uh, well back in the field then, we would have had uh, Ho Ho Ho. Uh, she's a Wat Wat back when they crossed as well, got checked across the top. about there. And racing, Tiberita Jazzle off the inside, not badly, but Claude Muller jumps straight to the front. Tiberita Jazzle through on the inside, then westerly wind. They'd be followed then by Onesie poking up between runners, getting the inside run was Jump and Sally. Then Groovy Leo trying to drive through on the inside. Well back in the field, then all for one and ruthless. Round they come. Tiberita Jazzle in front will go away and score from Jump and Sally. Then Groovy Leo home in third spot. Next one was all for one, then Onesie. It got into trouble across the top. So did Clint Mailer. They'd be followed well back in the piece then by Ruthless and uh, Westerly Wind, who was handy early, ran off up the top, across the top, and has come home in last spot. A set and a racing, another another comes out well, so does Big Job Jonesy and Gucci Rush in the early party. Thrill on the inside, two Perita, two e Tecker, and the two out the back around the first bend, Billy Holmes, running through on the inside, and trying to go with it all about Amy, and when it was getting into a nice spot, it was checked and fell. Did he Perita, two e Tecker in front, down the back by two, from another, another two back to Gucci Rush. Four back to Big Job Jonesy, Big Gap, Billy Holmes, and uh, where's all about Amy now? It's uh, still down on the track, and they're about to remove it as they swing to the corner, and in front is T Perita, two e Tecker, another, another try hard so does Gucci Rush but Tiparita Tui Tekka scores another 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 second Gucci Rush third big job Jonesy fourth Gap back then to uh, Billy Holmes who uh, lost several links in that incident where All About Amy fell and All About Amy has been uh, carried off the track uh, over the side there and hopefully all is okay with her and she was just about to slot into a very nice position there 
Racing on the catch steps pretty well. You know Orange goes hard and they match motors early. Why what a dream in behind them. Jaeger drives up between runners. That'd be followed by Kiwi Rangers on the drift. Now going underneath that would have been Yena and out the back was another gunner. Up towards the corner they come. Sprinting clear as I'm a catch. You know Orange trying to cut it down but can't. I'm a catch wins well from You know Orange. Third to go by was Jaeger. Fourth why what a dream. Then we had another gunner followed back in the field then by Yena and the last to go by was Kiwi Ranger. All on as the winner here, I'm a catch because it was a match race from the hop, the one, the eight. Racing. Queen Rowdy up well. Noaki Hurricane was slow with Bubbleosti. Good speed the middle from Cognac Diamond and Armistice Day to share up the pace around the first bend. Then with uh, Homebush Coco on the inside. That'd be followed uh, getting into fifth then by uh, Queen Rowdy's drop back midfield. Behind that then we've got Mighty Baxter. Noaki Hurricane's got a world ahead of it now. Then Bubbleosti and back last of all is Big Girl Welshy. Cognac Diamond in front. Will condition give. Driving through on the inside is Armistice Day. And coming up the pair of them. Noaki Hurricane booming on the inside and scores. Noaki Hurricane, impressive. Gets there nicely, Armistice Day. Cognac Diamond will improve with that. That'll be followed by Queen Rowdy. Further back then to uh, Big Girl Welshy, Bubble Osti. And behind those runners, Homebush Coco and Mighty Baxter. They race, working white cutter gets away fairly well with Kate Rose, another snazzer in the party, early Corborn Anna behind them, scary licious up and around the outside with a power with Jen Reba Lord has got well back, Corborn Anna's been spat back in cold turkey, no chance again another snazzer grabs the lead, scary licious around the outside, working white cutter comes underneath that, but another snazzer away to score by two into second, working white cutter, scary licious third, gap back the rest, headed by Opawa Jen, then cold turkey, that'd be followed in then by uh, Kate Rose Corborn Anna and Reba Lauder out the back. And racing cream to jeans out only fairly. Beating it out with Sidna Mopal, another street driving through on the inside. And uh, Hobush awesome up and around the outside. Cream to jeans is fourth and cops a check. Driving through on the inside to Thrilling Halo. That'd be followed well back in the field as they swing the corner then by Kiribati. Girl of Power Black and Gina Mack. Up comes Sidna Mopal. Trying hard another street. Sidna Mopal, another street. Hobush awesome was third. That'd be followed across by Thrilling Halo. Uh, gap back the others then, headed by Kiribati Girl and Cream de Jeans. Uh, pretty disappointing today. And well back, uh, Gina Mack and uh, Opawa Black. Just about set. Ready and racing. Mighty Pa gets away fairly well. It's a good line early, though. She's a terror showing speed, and so is Excited Royale into the first bend. Mighty Pa's trapped four wide around that first bend. Driving right through on the inside to shear up the lead was Big Time Tip, and it takes over. Big Time Tip in front. Mighty Pa around the outside of She's a terror. That'd be followed back in the field then by Excited Royale. You know Charm driving through on the inside. Ritzer Jack's way too off the far off them. Then Suso Socks and Botany Seaton as they come up towards the corner. Swinging first is Big Time Tip. Mighty Pa flattens out. 
up, can't get it. Big time tips in. Big time tip from Mighty Pa. She's a terror third. You know, charm fourth. Gaps back the others. They're headed in by Suso Socks and Botany Seaton. Ritza Jack was never a hope today. And excited rail back towards the tail. They race. Patrick Chaos away fairly with Mr. Big Stuff. One year in the middle, though, is driving through. Patrick Chaos is trying to uh, clear it. Doesn't. Goes backwards and Carmarita drives through to the lead. Race changes complexion. Black Mercedes chases it through. Then Mr. Big Stuff and Corborn Darcy and further back then to one year in Homebush. Yes, mate, but down comes Carmarita and scores from uh, Black Mercedes. Then we had Mr. Big Stuff and Corborn Darcy. Behind those runners then we would have had uh, one year. Homebush, yes, May was fairly well back. Unix luck I never had in the call. Had Patrick Chaos, there was chaos at the first bend, it topped the worst, has ended up at the tail. comes the bunny the set and they race hot king Cole's made a reasonable get beginning and drives towards the lead water peanuts trying to hold it out trying to drive through on the inside but getting squeezed back there was a dumb diddly do going ahead of it as azure dreams is right up into second place as they swing across the top it's hot on the tail of the leader in fact running on two is zip it sweaty up comes hot king cole is home from azure dreams driving to third dumb diddly do from zip it sweaty they'll be followed back in the field then by uh, a power gift never in the core with water peanut and you're on fire the tailor Just about set. Racing. Mammy Brown's hopped out well with Homebush Lestat. Mammy Brown wins the race for the lead easily from Homebush Lestat. Followed around the first bend by My Little Lucifer. Uh, they'd be followed through around that first bend then by Runs Like Al. They're already well scattered here. Uh, Darby Lane is well back with Noisy Leo, Bell Kiddo, and Baby James. Probably can't see the leader who is Mammy Brown by 12. Homebush Lestat giving chase as best it can. They'd be followed through then by My Little Lucifer. Runs Like Al is uh, battling on, going past it. Darby Lane, Mammy Brown easily again. Bush will stand another second, followed across by My Little Lucifer, third, a good run. They'll be followed by Darby Lane, gaps back the rest, Noisy Leo, Baby James, Belkido, and tying up runs like L. Set to go, race 13. First of the quaddy under racing, and another pizza, just a fair beginning now, tries to accelerate between runners. Jimmy the Buck is trying to hold it out the inside, and these two go head to head in that first bend. They'll be followed wider out on the track, then by Sub Salentio. Groovy Shane drives through on the inside. Back behind these runners, then to Dolly Wind as they come up towards the corner. Groovy Shane driving through, wins its first one for over a year. Superb performance. Groovy Shane home nicely there. From Dolly Wind into second, Jimmy the Buck third, then another pizza. Had its chance and let it go. Sub Salentio back behind them. Gunner excited and jumped today. And sizzled back at the tail of the field or near there.
And they race in graduation. A uh, ordinary jump, to say the least, and best out here was Sydenham Jade and driving through the inside would have been White Legs. They'll be followed then by Pandemonium Paws around the first bend. Tucked in behind them was Mo uh, Botany Molly trying to drive through. Now was our favourite graduation. Opar was Stu going back on the outside. Uh, well back in the race there would have been Thrilling Ava. Off the back they race. Uh, and in front here is Sydenham Jade and... Uh, coming out after it, now graduation, but it's falling off this leader, then White Legs and Botany Molly, Sydenham Jade in front and will score from graduation Botany Molly home third, ahead of White Legs then time for what, gaps back the others Pandemonium Paws are thrilling over, and dropping out to last was Opawa Stew two from the litter what's this one paid, about the same And racing, Snuffleupagus is slow and out the back door and back with it too was Face the Demon. Up front and going hard here we've got uh, Homebush Diamond. It whips clear by two lengths. Going with it there would have been El Maestro Jalokia. Red Hot Dutch trying to get into it. Favourites no chance here. Up comes Homebush Diamond scouted clear on El Maestro. Homebush Diamond, El Maestro tight third. Jaloka out wide, I think, ahead of uh, Face the Demon. They'll be followed by Snuffleupagus back behind those runners. Bo Wu well back with the Red Hot Dutch when they crossed. And... And racing, Techno Taco gets out fairly well with Tani Brun going hard early into Genia Harker. Here's Supreme Shaleen trying to track this favourite through. Uh, that'd be followed back along the inside by Nina Be Good. Out wider on the track there, we've got Dixie Queen. Red Herring as well back as they hear up towards the corner. And so is Tani Brun shuffled back. Techno Taco in front and will hold. Techno Taco from Nina Be Good dashing into second. Then it's tight for third, Supreme Shaleen and Genia Harker. And might not be too much... Uh, between those two, behind those runners then two, Red Herring. They'll be followed back in the field by Asia Rosti, Dixie Queen. And uh, the last one to go by uh, would have been Tani Brin after a good beginning. <laughs> 